Hi guys, this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music and in this lesson we are going to cover the topic of extended harmony or chord extensions or chord colors if you will. Basically taking a major chord or a minor chord as a base and then building on from there. For example, a major 7th voicing, a minor 7th voicing, uh, an augmented voicing and uh, we'll see how far this goes from there. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and also do check out our Patreon page for a lot of my handwritten notes, notation, MIDI files and a lot of this stuff which will be regularly updated. Let's now get started. So for today's lesson, I'm going to take an F chord, an F major or an F minor. And the same objective can be sort of handled with any triad. There are 12 major triads, 12 minor triads, right? So if I'm taking an F major chord, first observe how I'm playing it. I'm playing it in what's called as a spread voicing, wherein you take the middle note, the third, and play it up to the top register of the chord. A very orchestral way to play a chord or a very bass way, if you will. If you think about it, the piano's left hand has to be played keeping what a bass player would do or what a cellist would do. We have to respect and acknowledge those instruments which have been around for countless generations doing awesome stuff. And what they generally do is to voice their chord tones this way, not that way. That's a very piano way, right? Which I'm not suggesting you do in the left hand. And we've done quite a few videos on left hand chord voicings and left hand chord patterns. You should check it out in the description. So you go, this is your default way of playing F major. Now F major is called as a triad. A triad basically has three notes, the root, the third and the fifth. If we have to go beyond that, we have to consider doing something like a major 7th sound, which is the root, the major 3rd, the perfect 5th and the major 7th. Now, if we do that in our bass, you hear the muddiness, right? It doesn't sound so clear. So good technique to form the major 7th chord would be root, then don't play the perfect 5th, play the 3rd, and then find the major 7th of the chord, which is E. F, G, A, B, flat, C, D, E. Major 7th is the 7th of the major scale. You need to kind of remember these things. So you get a very nice, colorful major 7th voicing there. You can also go back to the F major chord. Or it's the colorful one. Right, so now that we've looked at the major 7th chord, let's see how we can form the next major chord extension, which is the dominant 7th chord. So to do that, you take the major chord... F major in spread position, that'll be F, C, A. And for a dominant 7th sound, we use the minor 7th interval. So that'll be root, major 3rd, A, perfect 5th, C, the dominant 7th, E flat, which gives you that sort of unstable or like an anticipation tonality. Now if I play all the four notes together, as you can hear, it sounds very muddy. So let's figure out how we can voice it in the left hand again. This will be your default major. And what did we do for the major 7th? We took the major chord, replaced the 5th and moved it to a major 7th. For the dominant 7th chord, you pretty much do almost the same thing. Major shape, replace the 5th and now play the flat 7 with with respect to F, the flat 7 is E flat. Okay. Major. And that's your F dominant 7th. It's a very, very important chord, especially if you're playing genres like blues music. You're going to pretty much use this, you know, all the time to, to do your comping in the left hand. Okay. 
and again as always you need to get acquainted with all the other dominant sevens as well so actually speaking a great way to practice your chords would be to do them in fourths fifths with along with the root so what i mean by that is if you have the f scale you find the tonic major which is f major and then practice the major seventh e f dominant and then you move up a fourth which is b flat do that one's major b flat major seventh get acquainted with the dominant because you're going to use b flat and the f very very well together in a song because they are inevitably part of the same music that's your b flat and then you'd want to also learn the c chord c major c major 7 you see how amazing that sounds i'm playing it really deep normally you will never be able to play chords in this register but you sort of opened up your left hand for a lot of opportunities all you need to do is keep in mind that your hands are going to be stretched out a bit more however if you cannot stretch out your hand use the pedal remove your finger from that c and drift it so that you can stretch out to the e with pedal this is if you can stretch but then you can still use the pedal because the pedal adds additional harmonics to your sound right so now that we've learned the dominant seventh chord let's try out a few other options you have the major and that's your major sixth another incredible sound that's your major six just take the five and move it up you need the d you can also get an augmented flavor by doing a sharp five so where's my five c and you do a sharp five So major 6th dominant 7th major 7th and back to the vanilla major chord let's recap this is your f major f augmented f major 6th f dominant 7th f major 7th let's try and build this with a couple more chords i'm going to try and build it with c C major C augmented C major 6th C dominant C major 7th So all of these are extensions of the major chord. Now if you need to do extensions of the minor chord, it's pretty much going to be very similar to what we just learned. The only difference will be the top note will not be a major 10 which is a it will be the minor 10 which is a flat so how do we color this up again we start with analyzing what's in the middle which is now the fifth that's your default minor sound and now if you go to the dominant seventh or the minor seventh here you get immediately an f minor seventh sound So get a minor major seventh, which is a bit rare. I'm going to stick with a minor seventh. I love this sound. This is a minor sixth. There you have it. You have James Bond right there. You could actually play around with just the middle note even if you don't know the names of these chords just decide whether you want a major tonality or a minor tonality and then explore what's in between you'll be very surprised with what you create i hope so that's basically how you add extended harmony in your left hand on the piano so you start off with a 10th interval minor 10th major 10th and then explore what's middle start with the vanilla note which is perfect fifth even for a minor chord and then move forward and 
This is a great way to play all those jazz extensions, the sevens, the nines, the whatever else. You can even embellish it further with the thirteens, sharp elevens, and also get into a very modal context as well. And again, this really frees up your right hand to do a lot of improvisation over this technique. So I hope you guys found the lesson useful. Again, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. Don't forget to like the video, share the video with all your musician friends, leave us. a comment if you'd like to learn something else in the future and subscribe to our youtube channel turn on the bell and i will see you in the next one cheers